this is just a quick pre-opening sequence update on the scheduling and the programming for the Repentless News, Net, News Brief. Um, I used to do them at, try to do them at like 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, that's probably just a little too late. So from now on, I'm going to try to at least do one weekly, hopefully on just on Mondays. If something really exciting comes up, I'll, I'll make more than that. But there will be at least one Repentless News Brief every week, Monday at least. Um, like I said, there will be others if more exciting news comes up. Then I will be posting them at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, which is 6 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Like I said, this is just a quick update on my plans for this series. Thank you for watching, and here's the opening. Hello everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with another Repentless News Brief. It appears the former drug dealer Prince has come forward and revealed the full extent of his drug addiction. Um, according to the Daily Mail Online, the Prince used to buy $40,000 at a time or a six month supply of Dilaudid and fentanyl patches. Now, I kind of know a little bit about fentanyl patches and about opioids because my mother has been on painkillers for a long time. Um, she's almost overdosed herself on a couple of occasions because either uh, the pills weren't digesting right or so forth. So, but I still say to hold out judgment on this. Um, although I believe that the, that what Fox News reported in terms of the story is correct, that this guy has come forward and said that he's Princess Dealer and so forth, um, I would still take it with a grain of salt. Um, unless he's provided some proof that he was Prince's drug dealer, I would still take it with a grain of salt until we get definitive proof. I mean, the autopsy report, when it comes out, will answer that question definitively. So until then, and even if he was addicted to painkillers, it really doesn't take anything away from his talent and from the decades of music he was part of. Um, it's kind of a sad situation if he did die of an overdose, but we still don't know at this point if it was an overdose or if it was something else. If it was related to his dependence on painkillers, and if he was dependent on painkillers, um, that would explain a lot. But ultimately... Prince's legacy is going to stand on his ability as a musician, as a singer, as an actor, and all the things he did. Him being an addict, an addict doesn't detract from any of that. But it's just kind of amazing, you know, not, not amazing. It's kind of expected because a lot of celebrities like Michael Jackson did have addictions. Elvis Presley and many others were addicted to painkillers. Um, some people have accused my mom of being addicted to painkillers because she is in constant pain and she has taken, has taken these kind of medications for years. But she has a prescription from a doctor. I, you know, he, she didn't get her. She doesn't get her pain. Well, she's got a pain pump now, and. That's her main source of pain relief. But I'm kind of, kind of um, rambling. I always get in, in rambling. I don't know why. But I'm going to put a link to the Fox News story. And, well, that's it, really. I mean, that's all I really have to say on the matter. Just wait until the official report comes out which will show if he had Dilaudid or, and fentanyl in his system, which would confirm what this Dr. D person is saying. Or if they're not in there, it would disprove it. 
we cannot just take this guy's word for it at this point. Um, there's probably rumors going around. I haven't heard any rumors, but, but then again, I haven't been following his career for a long time. Um, I guess I'm just kind of want him to be just more of a regular guy because you know, regular people get hooked on drugs too, especially on prescription medication. But like I said, I'm rambling, um, so I'm going to draw this to a close. If you like this video, thumbs up it, share it on social media, consider subscribing, commenting, and everything else. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Be awesome, everybody.